Welcome back to Black Renaissance. I'm back here again with Reverend Andriette Earle, the founding minister of the Heart and Soul Center of Light. Good to have you back again. Quick good here. To be here. It was a pleasure to talk to you in the first segment. Um, and we, we're talking about uh, the unique way that, and really ancient, I say modern, you said ancient, maybe it's so ancient it's modern, but uh, the, the, the unique way that your church deals with current events and just with religion overall. Uh, and you've had a number of speakers. It's not just all about, you know, this traditional sort of sermon with this, you know, one person speaking from above. You bring in speakers as well, and you've had everybody from Michael Eric Dyson to Ianla Van Sant, Susan Taylor. Absolutely. Why is it important to bring in that diversity of voices? It's essential because no one can hear every voice. You know, there's not like, um, certainly in our community, it's a diverse community, and there's, there's so many ways that people open their heart, and that's the intention. This is a, this is a time if ever, and there's always throughout history, there are these moments when more heart is required, mm -hmm. when humanity is required to open their heart and their mind in order to move past whatever our limitation has been. And so there are always these voices um, that can sing the song in a new way mm -hmm. and someone else can hear it or someone's willing to listen. And we'll do, frankly, I'm known for doing whatever it takes. I'll dress up in a costume. It doesn't <laughs> matter. I'll hop on one leg. You know what I mean? It, it, because my intention is to make a difference. Uh -huh. And the difference I intend to make is that someone's mind is opened in a new way. Mm -hmm. That someone will see beyond some past limitation. They'll see that they have more value and greater possibility. I like that you say sing the song in a different way. That's beautiful and really makes sense. And people need to hear it from different sources Absolutely. for it to make sense with them. And you also offer classes and, and you partner with, with different organizations and businesses. Tell me a little about that. We do. Uh, one of the things I want to lift up because I think it's so important is uh, Marcus Books, mm -hmm. which is the oldest African-American owned bookstore. bookstore. Mm -hmm. And so we support them. Very often they'll have, um, you know, a wonderful author or a wonderful author authors or or a lot of fundraising has to happen because it's difficult for brick and mortar stores in general and certainly for black owned yes. and so we support them in that way we we do our best to encourage folks to go there um, also we support like organizations like a safe place mm -hmm. and that's with our tithes and offerings but also just to help get the word out and suicide prevention is a is another organization and so depending upon what our congregants what our members bring us uh, we take a look and see if it isn't a way that we can share but also just to support the intention of their work what I know is that we can't possibly be all things to all people and it doesn't make sense for us to try to reinvent the wheel mm -hmm. and try to do those things that organizations have mastered doing in our are most adept at doing and so we find it most beneficial to to certainly share with them and to support whatever their endeavor that openness is work. crucial and I think rarer than what you see in some churches would you like to see uh, more congregations sort of go that way sort of it, it, realizing that you know one church can always provide a holistic you know Kristen I'm I don't know I'm very careful about me trying to put my view on others' ministries. Mm -hmm. I think there's something for everyone. And folks choose. Mm -hmm. And so we have something that we call heart and soul. This summer, for example, we, we always do an adult summer school. So it's this year it's from, uh, it's on Wednesday for seven Wednesdays. So it begins July 14th. I think it's either the 13th or the 14th, whatever that Wednesday is, and goes through um, the like 24th of, of August. And what we'll do is we're focusing on this notion of mining infinite possibility. Wow. Because what I know is that there are infinite possibilities in life. And our work is to mine it, is to, to look into the field of infinite possibility and choose something. Decide what it is you'll be, what it is you'll have, what it is you'll do, rather than settle for often what we've been told. Certainly as a woman of color, there's that that I've been told I can't do. You know, there are places where I certainly could not have a ministry, could not lead a church. 
and we're flying in the face of being able to choose from the field of infinite possibility. And you are doing an amazing job of it, it sounds like. I, I'm like, maybe I need to go to one of those seminars. We so appreciate having you on the program today and doing a double segment with you. Once again, for more information about the Heart and Soul Center of Light, log on to heartsoulcenter.org. That's heartsoulcenter.org. We'll be back next month with more Black Renaissance. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.